If you want to remove the background from your webcam without the mess and hassle of a proper green screen setup and lighting, your only option is software background removal. As I covered in my OBS Masterclass a couple years ago, the only options available at the time were not great. XSplit, on the other hand, has recently released their own background removal tool, dubbed XSplit VCam. It's not perfect, no software solution will be, but it does a better job than many options that I've tried here on the channel. We're going to be checking it out in this second bonus episode right now. Hi, I'm Meeples Vox, and welcome back to my XSplit Masterclass, sponsored by XSplit. By this point in the course, we've covered basically everything you need to know about XSplit. These are just advanced bonus tips to really just get the extra 10% mastery out of it. Remember that all episodes in the course have been linked in the video description in a big playlist so that if you have any questions or concerns, I've probably answered them in the earlier episodes of the course. If you have an XSplit Premium license, which you should get using my link in the description by below, by the way, XSplit VCAM is included. Go ahead and download and install it from their website. Upon first launch, the app will do a brief benchmark of your computer hardware to make sure that it's capable of real-time background removal or replacement. And then it will check to make sure you have a camera connected and selected. Once in the VCAM app, choose your correct camera from the drop-down menu. I'm going with the Logitech C920 in this case. You can click the settings cog to access normal UVC camera controls for the exposure, brightness, focus, and so on to help you fine tune your webcam image and get the best background removal result. If your webcam view isn't updating or it freezes, hit the refresh button to reload it. Below the preview, you can use the slider to adjust the intensity of the background blur. That is, if you're using background blur in the first place. You see, VCAM actually gives you a few options. You can either remove the background entirely, making a faux green screen effect to, you know, layer yourself over your gameplay, or you can blur out your existing background in the camera to give a kind of false depth of field effect to cut out your background and then re-include it, but with a blur filter over top to look like you're using a really shallow depth of field lens. Or lastly, you can replace your background with another image entirely, either by importing your own or searching for ones XSplit can provide for you. This gives you plenty of creative control over how your camera looks on stream. So how do you use it? You've added your webcam to your streaming app, but the background is still there. Here's the trick. VCAM actually adds a virtual camera device to your webcam list. It runs your webcam through VCAM, applies the background removal, processing and things like that, and then spits it out to the virtual VCAM device. So instead of adding your direct webcam, such as Logitech C920, you simply add the XSplit VCAM device. There you go. Much better. This works with any streaming app and even video calling apps like Skype and Discord. But here's how you use it in XSplit, of course. Simply change your camera icon and choose the XSplit VCAM option. If you're having performance issues, or you're on a powerful PC and you have plenty of headroom to go the opposite direction, you can tweak the performance settings of VCAM to either lighten the load or provide cleaner results. To do this, click the hamburger menu in the top left-hand corner of VCAM and click Show Settings. Here, you can choose whether this app relies on your CPU or graphics card for the processing. In most systems with a gaming-class graphics card, you should be rely relying on your graphics card. It's going to be way better. If you find your game performance is being impacted too much by this background removal, however, you may need to swap it to CPU and lower the quality here because on CPU it will be very intensive. On the other hand, if you have a high-end machine or a dedicated streaming rig, you can slap this on your GPU and crank up the quality even more to see better results. Also, there's a checkbox to show or remove your chair if the auto background removal keeps showing your chair anyway. It may look more natural to have the chair visible, but by default, remove chair is selected. It's also worth noting that in order to work, the VCAM app must stay running. This is why anytime you click to close it, it just minimizes. Feel free to close it when you're not using it to save resources when you're not streaming though. The good news is that at least when you launch XSplit app, apps like Gamecaster and have the VCAM source active, VCAM will automatically launch when you launch the streaming program, so you don't need to worry about keeping up with it. There you go. Have fun with your camera. No green screen needed, though it could still help. Or, you know, software background removal does work well on even a poorly lit green screen sometimes. Thanks for watching this episode of my XSplit Masterclass. Get subscribed for more tech education and stream guides, and maybe hit the like button. Consider sharing this course with a friend. Maybe supporting us on Floatplane, where you get early access to videos and behind-the-scenes content. I'm Ubosvox, your stream professor, and I'll see you next time.